हेलो हेलो रेडी सर गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग मैं आस्त नागपा यस सर आई आई मीन आई ओके प्लीज प्रोसीड मैं ऑडिबल यस सर वी आर या वेरी मच सर प्लीज गो हेड गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी थैंक द कला ऑफिशियल्स फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग एंड यूटिलाइजिंग दिस फुल पीरियड वेयर वी आर Uh, uh, lockdown uh, at home for many days. Uh, I think uh, it's a very good gesture from uh, Kala uh, that uh, how best we can utilize this uh, situation to uh, uh, make out some kind of changes in the minds of uh, LIS professionals being at their own hometown or home or wherever they are staying. In the meantime. We are not permitted officers, and how best we can utilize this to upskill ourselves, to serve our users. With this kind words for Kala and appreciate for this kind of initiative, we are the best initiative in the LIS profession as of now. I am not. Uh, Say that I am a good expert in like talking on this subject. I'm sure I can do my level best to uh, share whatever experience and knowledge what I have with this uh, this operation. The topic is lockdown, uh, lockdown, the lockdown, and this is the agenda what I'm going to speak. Uh, the areas for upskilling, a uh, lockdown versus challenges what we are facing. the ways to improve uh, up, uh, skills a uh, strategic planning how best we can plan ourselves to upskill and once we come up with a planning how best we can implement those planning what is the correlation between planning and implementation and the lastly 
the mantras for success in career as well as personal life just to look at our ourselves own our background when we were working as a library professionals in whatever the capacity at our respective organization from morning to evening even sometime in the late night in the other shifts also we used to engage ourselves and interact with so many users to meet their personal requirements as well as to meet their educational requirements or business requirements whether it may be a corporate or education institutes and other establishments but the time has come which was not expected by anyone anyone across the globe the covid 19 has made has bring lot of like no or different things the mindset has changed the uh, mindset of the people has changed people are started getting fear, scared about their life what will happen tomorrow forget about tomorrow what will happen next moment if i get out of home what happens so how best we can how best we can change ourselves come out of this fear how best we can complain about things how best we can improve our learning zones to get out of this fear how best i can give up start giving up control how best we can like say identify my emotions what are the ways to evaluate information before spreading across the medias and what is the way to recognize that we are all trying to do our best in this critical condition of covid 19 being at our own home what are the growth zones what we have in our hand think before yourself what about others ourselves is first priority along with that we should think what about others how can i make talents available to those who need them if we have some knowledge if we have some expertise how best you can you can share those kind of knowledge or information to the needy people how best we can live in the present and focus on the future and am i empathetic to understand myself as well as the others think and appreciate others if they are doing good job in and around your place keep yourself happy emotional state and spread hope for the better future and practice quietude patience a good relationship and creativity among the people if you see the right side and left side picture right left side we are like interacting with the people right side we are interacting with the system virtually connecting with the users sometime whoever is allowed to work from home along with taking care of our families and let us see what are the areas how best we can upskill the areas for upskilling ourselves first and foremost is the domain where we are working and what are the business we are doing i am not talking only about the companies business means even you can interpret in the educational institutes also what we do what kind of courses we conduct what kind of services we give and what are the processes we follow in the life or the office environment whether it's in the college or any universities or any other establishments what kind of technology operate our services and the last one is very much essential that is human values or human skills let us see what how best we can correlate ourselves to domain domain as i said the library and information science or related areas which already we are having a very great knowledge if we do not have how best we can inculcate to meet the changing requirement in the society 
uh, especially for the next gen population and what kind of businesses that is whether it's organization or educational institute we should try to understand in this period we have enough time to do lot of new things which we have not done till date that is understand your business what we do understand your organizational values missions objectives what kind of operations what kind of deliveries they does try to understand and the processes which is very much important if whenever like any organization or institution will decide what processes or practices are in place with that will decide the service delivery whether it's a right or like whether it's a good excellent or not that's again depend upon your like the technology deployment whether we have technologically the you have enabled each and every service and processes which can be accessed by your important user community or the stakeholder which can be in academic institute students faculty and staff and research scholar or any other external institutional members here after seeing like enablement the most important thing is whether we have human values especially the attributes which will decide all these parameters to uh, like you no know, think whether we are really doing our best the the any services across the globe will decide not only the uh, the service what we will deliver what kind of business we do what kind of knowledge we have what kind of access we give at the end of the day the any service appreciation or the recognition of like any human being will decide his or her the values or the skills or the attitude whatever attitude whatever he or she has and show respect to the rest of the world that those things will decide that's where i thought of including human elements in terms of this during covid 19 it's a good to fill such a gaps wherever possible if we are not good in some attributes it's the best time to think beyond it let us see how best like you no know, think identify the gaps or challenges during this lockdown what are the challenges whether it is a social or economical or the issue with accessibility or geographical geographic i'm i'm sure like lockdown has like is a big challenge with respect to geography people are not, not allowed to move even out of the house or wherever you want to buy except the uh, like you no know, permission for buying some essential food in some area some area even it's not even permitted to get get out and many people if you see the recent study says like especially after covid 19 in place the many psychiatrists says the psychological aspect has like you no know, become a big mess in terms of the people who are locked down in the home and again the surrounding environment where you are staying this is also very much important where you like uh stay and which for which organization is you are working for whether they are permitted to like stay home and safe uh, stay at your home or like they are asking you to work from home if they are work, asking you to work from home so what are the facilities they are like you no know, giving how much they are taking care of you these are just in terms of like you no know, generic one with respect to your like services what do you do that is like how you are going to engage user this is the biggest challenge or like a question mark for any library or the organization where uh, like users are not coming like there are many ways to approach them like for example many people are like you no know, enabling the access to their services to remote access i think this is the best opportunity to, to showcase our technical skills by applying those skills technical skills or whatever we are we have uh, earned today if we do not have we can approach the skilled person to like you no know, enable those kind of remote access to the users wherever they are staying so that you are connected always 24 bar 7 and another important challenge is like dealing with the changes nowadays life has become a big challenge in each and every aspect of a human human life if you say like okay today is relaxed tomorrow it may be going to happen something that is a conflict management 
the fight between the things which is happening across the globe especially the library uh, in some of the cases like no even the viruses are coming to the books how best you can manage that kind of like you no know, war against the virus these kind of things are becoming a big challenge if you are operating your libraries even during the lockdown also and lack, lack of consistency in terms of upskilling sometimes what like some of the professionals does like the utilization of the uh, free time for the better way to upskill themselves there is no concrete plan in terms of like you know, how best we can plan systematically and utilize this kind of time to fill our the gaps whatever we have Hello. and after that uh, the planning chana batta ide but nanu i can i am not able to interact no no you cannot interact now after 30 minutes only yeah how da okay ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅದು ನಾನು ಲ್ಯಾಪ್ಟಾಪ್ ಗೆ ಮೈಕ್ ಅದು ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಇದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಇಯರ್ಫೋನ್ ಗೆ ಇದಿರುತ್ತಾ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ವ ಅದು ಅದು ಇಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನ ಹತ್ರ ನಾನು ಲ್ಯಾಪ್ಟಾಪ್ ಗೆ ಇರ್ಬೇಕನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಮೈಕ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದು ಅದು ಆನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಈಗ ತೋರಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ and after like understanding what kind of okay, like okay. gaps no, no. okay right i will speak afterwards okay. our mugili kana barta ide thank you okay. this learning is very much important for any professionals across the field ah i do okay no problem illa avare maadli bidi nan adopting learning to meet the changing society okay. Okay. is another big challenge because okay. nan irthe nille irthe connect maadli bidi nanage amale okay adopting learning learnings whatever we are upskilling ourselves to meet the changing society especially the gen y and gen z generation every minute there is a, a like no their needs are dynamic in in nature if you, if you if the if somebody comes and say okay a librarian to the user oh i have this information we like to use it user will come back and tell no sorry already i got yesterday so that means if you are trying to give something to the user you have to think one day before before you like you no know, talk to the user so that whatever the changing needs user has you should try to understand what are, like you no know, strategies you should uh, put in place to uh, upskill yourself to like you no know, uh, uh, serve the society serve the users of the library in a better way these are there are many ways to upskill yourself but in this uh, during the covid 19 where everyone is locked down in home so this is the best way how like you no know, upskills ourselves is the networking i thought this is the best way in networking being or like you no know, distancing or maintaining the social distance networking is not like going for a party or like you no know, going for a big gathering or something like that virtual networking the way now kala is organizing the webinar on like lockdown and like how best we can upskill this is also one kind of best platform adhe speaker on maadi ha ee sari i am on at nodi iga how best we can uh-huh. like okay. network with the people virtually and kala webinar is best example in this regard uh, for like you no know, bringing all the professionals together and interact and share our knowledge to meet the changing requirements and be a mentor if you have a good skills with respect to don't think only library skills many people may be having a expert skills with respect to various like you no know, areas you be a mentor for some people who are really looking for a mentor or if you are looking for some information or some knowledge on some particular area you can try to find out a mentor where who he or she can guide you mentor you mentor you to upskill yourself in some cases either you are not able to be a mentor or like you no know, find a mentor teach yourself that is the best way uh, best medicine to upskill ourselves because we are the one who can decide who can write our future where we want to like you no know, stand in this regard i uh, request every professionals whether it's like age is not a matter read the unread and again un- uh, unread it and again read it or write the unwritten things many things we do but we are like in some cases some people like we are not documenting it that is very much important these are something which really we, lo- we should look into it 
on the right side if we can see the volunteering this will definitely will help to reach the unfamiliar areas or like you know interact with the unfamiliar like you no know, faces which will help you to like become a familiar for many times in which will result in many initiatives it not it may not be only in library science it can be any areas wherever you are working in library science library though you are a librarian usually librarians are called teacher of teachers and librarian is capable to do come up with many initiatives which can be applied in many areas not only library science this is very much is like you no know, depend upon how best you have like you no know, team skills whether you are good at like with working with a team or, or you want to go with alone and come up with kind of initiative what kind of leaders leaders skills you have this is also very much important because unless you have like some good solid leadership skills it is difficult to manage and lead the library if you want to become a good leader you have to be a creative person think beyond your like you no know, scope always what happens like okay this is my boundary this is my limitation okay this is literally where i have to restrict myself please keep all these things out of box think beyond your library how best you can reach the people other than the physical other than even the, what are the way areas how best you can reach them think critically uh, creatively so that people will come back to you and say okay your services are best in this covid like 19 the situation becoming very embarrassing the stress management is becoming very uh, problematic wherever you are go because 24 by 7 in since you have been locked down how to manage this stress many people especially like i'll give my own example in the beginning the first week when the lockdown started on 23rd first one week i was not able to sleep when any time because i was locked in like in the house where the every time whenever i want to go out and come in so the four rooms i had to just use it because i was addicted to like go to the big office and work in a big library with so many people that psychologically as i said in the beginning one of the slide the psychologically got my like no my stress level has become a big issue in this case like how best you have managing your emotions so that's why you have to upskill what best like you can do how best you can uh, intelligently like you know evaluate your emotional emotions this is possible now because there are many virtual contents available across the globe you go anywhere there are, you need not to like go to the physical library virtual content like for example i think in karnataka the public department of public library is i think if i am not wrong if my uh, knowledge is not wrong the first state uh, like you no know, to come up with a virtual public library that is digital library or like there are many content across the globe so uh, whatever the topic wherever you have a gap if you are facing a stress or emotions how best you can evaluate yourself there are virtual content you can use it and go like you no know, try to reduce and increase your immunity and efficiency and effectiveness virtual courses are there and webinars like kala what is organizing you keep following podcasts which are posted in different areas above this beyond the technical and functional skills as i rightly said in the beginning upgrade your human skills that is very much important <clears throat> what are the strategies how best we can do i think this abcd abcd e plan or pillar of abcd that is strategy the best suitable what i felt to showcase with you a stands for analyze to aim that is what is the contextual information you have situation analysis whether, whether you are capable to analyze it or not what kind of short analysis you should do it okay then you try to analyze that is b stands for bench baseline to benchmark so you should understand the baseline then you fix the benchmark where you are now where you were in the past and what you want to become in the future for which is required to analyze the gaps and issues and align your capabilities to reach your future goals and the components to complete what are the components which you have to set up actually first and foremost thing you should come up with your own vision as of now we are only reading the vision mission and values of any particular organization or like no institution how many of you we have really create our created our own vision or objectives or the goals in life that is we should look into it if it is not there if you are not written 
our vision objectives and goal it's the right time to like you no know, list out for at least not 100 years at least write down for like 5 to 10 years it will help you to come up with some kind of a solid solutions for the recruitment you know for your career that is data to detail that is key uh, this will help like you no know, uh, don't keep only the data level try to understand in depth come up with the details about what you are doing that is possible only when you are you are doing a performance management what kind of initiative you are like you no know, coming up what are the action plans you are doing taking and this is this all this a b c d is depend upon how best you can evaluate to excel yourself in professionally as well as personally that is possible through how best what kind of feedback you are getting if you don't try to understand yourself you are ask your like you no know, colleagues or like subordinate or your mentors or seniors in the professional try to like you no know, evaluate and assess yourself if there is a need for review and revise do it and take necessary corrections this will lead you like you no know, tell you how are like how are you doing how you will be going to do it where you want to be and how you how will you do it uh, this is possible when you are putting a strategic plan in place in the form of a b c d and once you come up with a planning it is equally important to implement it that is implementation is completely depend upon a person who is designing or like you no know, planning that strategy who want to like you no know, upskill himself or herself the true vision strategy and implementation plan who is accountable that is we who are going to upskill who are going to learn who are going to lead our life for better future and who is going to put the deadline that is no one else it is us we should keep the deadline so that we can think on it and then monitoring overall like monitoring and the review and revise is also important this is only possible when you do it the when you have the clear and consistent and long term goals as i said in the previous goal you should have a long term goals vision mission objectives and goals that is possible to when you understand the gaps and the gaps can be filled when you do the effective evaluation and take a necessary action if you fail to take proper action again review it and revise it and go like you no know, come up with vision where you are failing the improvement when the the correlation between or interrelation between formulation and implementation decides the success your strategy formulation is strong sound and your uh, in strategy implementation is excellent then you can see the success otherwise again you have to revisit the strategy and implementation plan and the last slide which i'm going to end after this you can ask me any questions if you have the mantras for success that decides based on your goals that is vision and another important skill i forgot to tell you, you should be passionate to do anything you are doing don't do just for the sake of doing anything you do when you are doing it you do it with passion definitely that that passion will rewrite your future like to create and bring some visibility and recognition unless you do it with passion it is that people will not recognize and you will not feel happy once you complete just for the sake of doing it please if you are planning to do or still something don't do it just play at learning while learning you play or while playing you are you learn and with passion that will definitely will help you to like you know, decide where your destination is there. that is lure that is l u r that is another important aspect of any upskilling or any path of like you no know, path for improving yourself that is learn whatever you are like you don't have you learn it first then unlearn it unlearn is nothing but that is you practice it or deploy it at your workplace once you deploy it is equally important that okay share it with other people also many cases what happens anything whatever i am learning whatever i am gaining some knowledge with respect to in any areas wherever i am working we try to hide it within us it, it's actually not a good practice when you share with others it will give an option to relearn a new things if if anything is like fail it will help you to like you no know, unlearn and relearn that will 
uh, become a great success for your future <clears throat> to end up end my talk or like no session i just uh, say a few uh, phrases or you can say sent lines change is constant in any field every field and library science or libraries are not an exception library professions i always believe if i see my any profile facebook or linkedin you can find one word called like no challenge challenges i always accept the challenges that kind of attitude we should uh, like no cultivate and caring and sharing is very much important like unless you care someone no one will come and like no share the information or nobody will care about us okay so caring and sharing is very much important and respect for individual uh, we always like no sometimes when my when i say respect for individual some egos come in between please keep egos if, if you just imagine covid 19 situation the current situation i think like no no one will dare to say okay i can manage myself that's where like no you should like have always the attitude of caring and sharing respect for you respect Ma. for individuals and love your people once they reach a peak of any profession and in especially the library profession i request this is the profession where we are living a bread and butter of our day to day life is our library profession so you love the profession and the love the people who are dedicating for this library profession don't underestimate give yourself that okay oh i am a librarian i am always looking at the last stage in any organization people some people they talk or oh, library means the last position in the organization i am extremely sorry this is how we write the library vision we how best we write the librarians vision how best we can create our visibility within the organization these some how best we are passionate to do the things and deliver the services in the organization this will decide our position in the organization not the library the term library within the organization this is a librarian should write their like no position in the organization or the society where he or she want to be and many cases we think we underestimate that okay i am not capable to do i do not have that kind of knowledge so i really sorry to say i don't like the people who say that i can't do this one because you are not able to understand what potential you have because no one has born with a knowledge tank everyone learns by after getting a birth on the earth and after running falling down and getting up again running to reach the goal so please try to understand your potential really each one of you whoever is in the call definitely you have so many potential qualities in you only thing is you have to dig and like no implement and practice with a confidence again as i said the passionate word it plays a vital role in anybody's success that you should be passionate with. and more importantly document the key things what you are like no doing on day to day basis especially important activities what are the achievements you are doing whether if you have done something wrong why it has gone wrong what should you do to do in a better way okay so whatever you do note note it in a document that is what you call you know life diary kind of thing success is nowhere else this success is within you success you don't look for the success outside yourself try to like you no know, dig your own potential dig your own talent okay dig yourself you can definitely find a success within you so uh, to end my note knowledge comes not from age but from skills that you have thank you so much for the kala and uh, dr krishnamurthy and uh, subhas reddy and the president professor uh, asundi sir so the eminent uh, pro- uh, like personalities who have joined in the call and this is a really great opportunity uh, like interacting with all people across india and i think there are many people are trying but since the invitation is only for 100 uh, yeah 100 so many people are trying it uh, extremely sorry for the limitation as it's a technology enable enablement issue again so once again thank you so much if you have any questions i i'll be happy to okay. interact 
Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nagappa, for your this. Now the session is open for the discussion for five minutes. You can ask the questions to Dr. Nagappa. Yeah, any questions, any uh, uh, any things you want, it may be a question or it may be a feedback, or I love to take yeah. one uh, of the Dr. Nagapa, or, oh, Dr. Dr. Nagapa. Yeah. You can Dr. name Nagapa, yourself and uh, ask. Yeah, Dr. Nagapa, this is uh, Dr. Rishi Tiwari from Builder Institute of Yes, sir. Soeda. Of allied profession from the country, I thank Professor Nagappa for giving an excellent presentation at this very tough uh, time that you are home loud, uh, home locked, and we are not able to serve our people. But I think this is an opportunity for us to serve the entire community of uh, library professionals, library professionals as well as uh, users across the country. I thank all of you, and I thank once again Dr. Nagappa for this particular presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you everyone. For yes, yes, sir. If you can wind up or you want to say something to... Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm thankful sir. to you as well uh, <laughs> for this excellent presentation. <laughs> and also, sir, uh, yes. because of the limitations, uh, I think the response was excellent. Yes, sir. More than 100, but our restriction was only for 100. Yes, and sir. I am thankful uh, for uh, introducing me to this particular uh, uh, interactive software because I could find out my son's uh, uh, I mean, interaction uh, along with this one and I can make use of this for my interaction with my son anytime. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Subhastadi. Thank you, Dr. Krishnamurti. And thank you, all the officials and those who have cooperated with this particular session. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Dear you. participants, thank do you have any questions, please? Uh, you have still some more time. You can ask Dr. Nagappa. Sir, sir I, have, I have one question. Please go ahead, sir. Dr. Sir, Nagappa. Sir. Yeah, please. Yeah. yeah. Sir, uh, good morning. Uh, I'm Dr. Shiva, Assistant uh, Librarian, President of University. So you are mentioning that uh, engaging users. Uh, what are the ways you are, uh, please tell me the, what are the ways we engage the users? Uh, you are working for academic institute or some yes. business? Uh, uh, academic institute, Presidency University, Kolkata. Okay. Uh, a best way now, uh, considering the uh, lockdown in place, I think uh, virtually we can be connected with the users. Uh, okay. It can be uh, social media or like recently one of the uh, university uh, like where they have provided the library digital library uh, uh, to the users which they can access uh, through remotely it's nothing but they are visiting your library logging to your library system and accessing all the digital resources hello hello ready yes sir yes sir was ready yes sir i just want to okay. convey uh, yes, not only about the library, but uh, we have access to yeah, app and other yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, general education about uh, the entire uh, COVID and whatever the, uh, what you can say, the remedial uh, uh, things they know about uh, controlling this particular uh, uh, disease as such they must convey through the Facebook, so through social media. And uh, you know, as actually I sent a few, uh, what write you can say, write -ups. a few write-ups uh, through the, my Facebook uh, page. Yes, sir. Uh, anybody knows about uh, uh, anything about, uh, not only about reading books or anything, any small uh, thing that they know. For example, I mentioned that using the eucalyptus oil, will also prevent for your, uh, what you can say, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, in, in inhaling and other things. And it will also cure, cure your uh, lungs. So anybody knows anything around, because India is a very big country, there are a lot of internal medicines and there are also local medicines which can control the entire thing. So I request all the users across the country all the library professors across the country scan through the various uh, traditional uh, knowledge and convey it through the, their, may, their social media pages. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. This is speaking. 
हेलो यस या 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 प्लीज गोल्ड सर प्लीज हेलो या प्लीज गोल्ड yeah sir please can you give some suggestion for my uh, school uh, students so that i can make sure them uh, read at home hello yeah yeah tell me tell me sir we are we able to hear you sir please tell me yeah hello? my name is hello hello we can hear you sir srikant putra we can hear to hear you please go ahead yeah yeah sir uh, why my concern is uh, Uh, I'm a school librarian. Uh, yeah. So I want things uh, from your side for my children. Can I go to reading habit for my children? Can please guide regarding this. Naga Pasar. Yeah, yeah. Using these digital digital resources. Reading habits, uh, as I said, like again, uh, to decide. I I am asking about uh, uh, you are asking about yourself or for the user. Hello. No, no for his son. Uh, son, no, sir. 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 Son
all these things you know these are corporate uh, concepts uh, which are not really taught in the library science school or uh, yeah all right all right dr ravi venkat okay. please go ahead yeah dr ravi venkat please go ahead ah uh, nagapa dr ravi please hello no nagapa ravi venkat from tumkur university hello dr hello. ravi yeah please ah uh, first time i had a chance to hear your talk because i was not able to come for your uh, many what you used to conduct the conferences no okay. tcs conference uh, really it was a uh, appreciative talk i thank you very much hmm? okay thank you okay sir okay. sorry i am not uh, this presentation i feel myself Ah, uh, because just I prepared in the night by twelve. No, 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 no. Hey, but you were, you were experience. Yeah. It all it speaks. Just your I... social concerns. No, your societal concern. Everything what I have read, what you have done in in your native place. Ready? Everything that is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything that is speaking. Prakash, Prakash, you connect, Madi. Yes. Ah, sir, he is able to hear you, Prakash. Sir, Mata. Yes, sir. Please go ahead, sir. Sir, Mata, sir. Mata, sir. Prakash, Prakash, I get it. ಸರ್ ಚನಲ್ ಗಿದ್ರಿ ಸರ್ ನಾನು ಮತ್ತೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಫೋನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸರ್ ಮಾಡಿ 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 ಓಕೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರಾ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರಾ ಓಕೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾನು ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಗೆ ಹಾಕ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿ ಸರ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಬೇಡ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ನಾನು ಅದೇ ನಾನು ಲ್ಯಾಪ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕೊಂಡ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟೇನಿ ಲ್ಯಾಪ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕೊಂಡ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟೇನಿ ಸರ್ ಎನಿ ಅದರ್ ಕ್ವೆಶ್ಚನ್ಸ್ ಸುಭಾಷ್ ಸುಭಾಷ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಹಲೋ ನೋ 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 ಸರ್ ನೋ ಕ್ವೆಶ್ಚನ್ ಸರ್ ನೌ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸರ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಗೋ ಅಹೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ಸರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸರ್ ಹಲೋ ಕೃಷ್ಣಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸರ್ ಏನಾಯ್ತದ ಸರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸರ್ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಸೆಷನ್ ಮುಗೀತು ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಟೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಡಿ ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಸೂನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಟೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ನಾಗೋಸ್ ಸುಭಾಷ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮೀ ಸರ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮೀ ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಶಂಕರ್ ಗೌಡ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಂಪೇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಸಿಟಿ ಏ ಗೌಡ್ರೆ ಹೇಗಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಕೊಡಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಯಾ ಯಾ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಶೇರ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಶೇರ್ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ 